Hello my little Frenchies, I'm Mervyn Gowry and you're watching What the French, the channel that will teach you how to speak French the right way. Uh, today we're going to talk about jamais, the famous jamais. So uh, what is so special about it? Let's find out right after this. Okay, so basically uh, if you want to have an equivalent uh, it replaces the word not by never, like the word uh, non, ne, by jamais, all right? For example, um, I, 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 would, I would not do that. I wouldn't do that. Uh, je ne ferai pas ça. Is, uh, it becomes, I would never do that. And in French, it sounds like it, it, it goes from je ne ferai pas ça, to je ne ferai jamais ça. So, je ne ferai pas ça, je ne ferai jamais ça. One little trick, like, um, is that jamais, uh, it's like, it doesn't necessarily have to be placed after the verb. It can actually start a sentence. For example, uh, I can't forget you, I can't ever forget you. Jamais, je ne pourrai t'oublier. Jamais je ne pourrai t'oublier. And uh, again, you may have seen that, may have heard that in uh, some of my videos before. But French people like to skip words, like to uh, shorten expressions which are already short. Don't ask, <laughs> that's what we do. So for example, uh, expressions involving jamais. For example, uh, I never said that. I never said that. And um, it's, it sounds like je n'ai jamais dit ça. Je n'ai jamais dit ça. Okay? But a lot of times uh, we actually skip the n apostrophe, the negative part of the sentence, and it sounds like j'ai jamais dit ça. J'ai jamais dit ça. J'ai jamais dit ça. So, je n'ai jamais dit ça becomes j'ai jamais dit ça. Sometimes it can even be used on its own. Like, for example, uh, do you work on Saturdays? Like, no, never. In French, it's the same. Est-ce que tu travailles les samedis? Non, jamais. Est-ce que tu travailles les samedis? Non, jamais. Uh, for example, you can... Uh, use an equivalent. Uh, it can mean ever. If you ask someone if uh, he or she has ever been to Paris, has ever been to Paris, it would sound like, es-tu jamais allé à Paris? Es-tu jamais allé à Paris? And it's very tricky because you may think like, es-tu jamais allé à Paris? You may think that it means uh, like, you've never been to Paris? No, it's like, have you ever been to Paris? Es-tu jamais allé à Paris? And of course, you have the famous expression, like, uh, it's now or never. C'est maintenant ou jamais. It's like, c'est maintenant ou jamais. When you say it fast, it sounds like, c'est maintenant ou jamais. C'est maintenant ou jamais. So there you go, another video about the famous word, jamais. Uh, I hope it helped. I hope you understand it, understand it better and that uh, you got some new ways to, to, to use that word. Maybe you read it somewhere and you didn't quite know what it meant exactly. I hope I provided some great insights and uh, my goal is to make you uh, make progress on a daily basis. So if you have any issues, any problem, any comment, uh, just leave a comment in the in the section below and I'll be happy to help you if this is the first time for you Thank you for watching that video subscribe and hit the bell uh, You will be notified every single day when I drop a new video and uh, if you have any re reviews feedbacks some uh, You know like some things and topics you want me to talk about to deal with Really, don't hesitate. Like, let me know in the comments and uh, I'll write it on my to-do list, on my video list and uh, for, the, for the next ones. And in the meantime, keep learning, keep making progress, keep getting better. 
I'll see you in the next one.